Welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Bevan's Law, and I'm here with Darth Human. This is our um, final version of the map, Flushing Toilet. You see the uh, golf balls, or bowels, coming down at you. And uh, essentially this map, as we talked about in our preview, it has three levels. Gameplay has changed a bit, and I believe it's changed for the better. Darth believes it's changed for the better also, so we're, we're ready to run with this map and, and, and let you guys play it and see what you think. Um, as you as you're looking, uh, the key to this map is stay on top of the balls or bowels, as <laughs> as we may call them, and stay on top until it flushes down and and gets to the second level. Each level is going to be a minute long, okay? You, ju I guess around a minute long. So you have a minute essentially to get to the top. You see, that all of a sudden there you saw the uh, railings appear. And there's a couple health packs. There's four health packs. You want to be one of the first ones up there to get a health pack so that you don't die. And now we're going to flush. And for some reason, Blue decides to jump in. And, you know, they wanted, they weren't content with where they're at. And they wanted to die. Okay? So now what we're going to see is we start our second phase. And here's where we've made some game changes. You'll notice that um, there are now windows with people um, able to throw some grenades in. Grenades creates a popcorn type effect on these balls. So if, if one of your teammates is stuck, you can use your shotgun or your grenade to uh, blow up the balls and, and essentially free them or the person can smack the balls and hopefully move them around. And uh, <laughs> a great toilet map. I, you know, the, the whole toilet concept is fun. Um, it's it, You can play it with as many as just one or two of you, I guess. And uh, that seems to be the best. When you're playing mini games, that, that's, that's just the best thing is when you get a full complement of people and uh, playing. And that's one of the things that makes this game fun. So now we're at the second level. I just grabbed a health pack because I needed it badly. All of a sudden, now we're going to have a uh, little heavier weapons available. You're going to have a grab hammer up here. You're going to have, um, as we try to get to the top, this is the, this is the last phase. There we go. You saw your your uh, grenade uh, launcher there, but uh, again, this look at I mean look at the detail that's placed in this map. It's it's incredible, well worth the wait. Change the gameplay has changed. Uh, like I said, we a lot since our preview. Um, the balls come a little faster on the third leg, as well as um, they're more maneuverable and you're able to uh, essentially manipulate them a lot more. What you're doing is everybody's almost to the top here, and you're almost ready to score, and all of a sudden, a couple people look like they're going to get buried, and people are able to get out and score. And as, as you see right there, what, what California's doing is he's uh, using... <laughs> he's killing himself. No, it, it, you can't kill yourself. But what he's doing is he's trying to shoot those grenades out there to blow the balls around and, and help his teammates up. Uh, you saw me appear, so I reached the top, came through, um, scored a point for my team. There you go. You just saw a red guy go into the green uh, scoring system. So green on a point for red who made it to the top. So if you were colorblind, um, you know, maybe there's some way you can recommend for us to uh, <laughs> enhance the game. I don't know. I don't know how you can make it any easier. Not only is it their color, but there's also a one over your scoring position. So if you don't see a one and you walk through a scoring, all you're doing is helping some other team out. And... Uh, this is the Halo Forge epidemic, and we will be uh, signing off here. But once again, always here for your enjoyment. Bevan's Law, Darth Human, signing out.